Okay, so I'm going to measure the magnetic field and electric field of this shaver. To be honest, it doesn't really matter if it gives off a bit of a, you know, a bit of a magnetic field. Um, I don't use it that often, and when I do use it, it's only for a few minutes. But uh, I do find it interesting to check these um, just for learning purposes. So. This is the Gauss mode. Okay, and the electric field. Pretty much nothing. I guess you could say it's healthier to shave the traditional way. I'd just like to reiterate that these sorts of non-native electromagnetic fields previously shown in the coming from the shaver are in the big scheme of things a much lower priority. The main issues we need to be bringing awareness to are the Wi-Fi in schools, Bluetooth devices everywhere, smart uh, appliances everywhere, 5G coming up, the you know exponential increase in all these forms of wireless radiation including, I should add, 4G, which we already have, these are much, much more important to bring awareness to. They have a much more negative effect on our health than, you know, a bit of a magnetic field coming out of a, a facial shaving device. But I will say, if someone is dealing with some sort of dental issue or gum issue, you know, something you know close to the cheek, uh, in that part of the face. If you've got a health issue there and you do regularly, say every morning or most mornings, put this magnetic field up to it when you're shaving, that could make your you know symptoms worse. It could, so. It's worth being aware of, but like I said before, let's focus on the big issues.